So there is this new thing out there. It's called Gen 1, and it's supposed to, among other things, be capable of doing video-to-video -video AI image generation. And what I was excited about when I first saw it was that it's apparently going to be able to take a style and convert your recorded performance in front of the camera into like a cartoon animation. And what was bothering me about the models that were there before, it was just a cartoonification of whatever you look like. It's just putting outlines on your face. Like, if, for example, if I draw a puppet like I do for a character animator and I move in front of the camera, the puppet will still look like that puppet I drew. I just want what I do in character animator to just be even easier. So let's see if that works. Let's upload a video. I mean, that's why you kind of choose pre-existing styles that they provide you with, but you can also upload one. Let's see how that works in a second. Okay. I mean, it, it's stunningly consistent compared to all the other solutions we have seen so far, uh, but it's not the style I'm going for. So I will see if I can upload. So I'll choose this one and say generate. Let's see. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, that, this is really... Okay, I'm... That's not bad. I was expecting something really worse. I don't know what to say. It's really more than I expected. Okay, the nose is kind of weird. Uh, but I think in general... Uh, holy crap. It actually does a good job with the outlines. That's the one issue I always have. Let's play with the settings here a little bit. Okay, nice. <laughs> That's interesting. Really, I mean, maybe I have to give it a drawing. <laughs> it doesn't have any eyes. Maybe I have to give it a drawing with that has actual teeth showing. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> So this is definitely great, but still not enough, still not there. I'm going to stick with Character Animator for now, but I can already see there will be a point where this all gets easier and I can even create more content just on my own, which is awesome. What I'm still missing from all of these solutions is I want to have all the control. I want to come up with the style. I want to be able to define how the character looks. I'm not really interested in style transfer. So that's what I'm kind of still missing from this. But actually, I have to say I'm pretty stunned by these results this thing gives me. All right, that's it. See you in the next one. <laughs>